Buongiorno beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm bringing to you a no jumping full body cardio workout. So I really hope it's useful now that we're all at home and perhaps you don't want to jump or it's too heavy on your knees or you just want to minimize the amount of impact and noise if you live like me in an apartment. So I really hope this suits you well. Before we start, I just wanted to add that because we are not jumping, but we're still trying to achieve a high heart rate, so we're trying to do a bit of cardio, I would advise you that you do all the reps as quickly as you can, but still maintaining a good form while doing them, and that will ensure that your heart starts pumping way quicker. And also I do every set to failure, which means that I do every set until I cannot do any more reps, then I take a breather, I take a rest, and then I do the next set. So I really hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get into the workout. All right, so the first exercise is a prison squat with asymmetric hold in the back. So basically, as you can see, you just go into a squat position with your hands elevated in front of you and then you proceed to one leg at a time go backwards like it, as if it was a lunge and you just hold it there for a split of a second and then you go back on the squat position and you repeat that to failure for four sets next we have a crunch hold with a tricep extension going into a reverse bridge. So I know it's quite complicated, but if you do a few times, then you get the movement. You just proceed to do a crunch, then you use your triceps to lift your trunk, and then you go up with your glutes into a reverse bridge position. And so you can see that we do both arms, abs, and legs. If this is too complicated or too advanced, then it's not a problem. What you can do is again a crunch position and then instead of going to a tricep extension and then a reverse bridge, you just go into a normal bridge by putting your arms flushed against the floor. And again, you do it to failure for four sets. The next exercise we have a curtsy lunge with a knee drive so what I did is 10 reps per side and then repeat it to the other side and like that to failure and then again did it for four sets and just remember to really use your abs to drive your knee forward and then really use your legs and your glutes to do the curtsy lunge. Here we have a V walk into a push up. So the V walk is really to use your arms, your back, and your abs. Then when you go into a plank position, you go ahead and do a push up as you used to do it usually. Now, if this is too hard, then obviously it's not a problem. What you can do is go into your knees and do a kneeling push up. So that will take off a bit of your body weight and that will make the push up easier. And then you go ahead to walk forward into a plank position and then back into a V position, really focusing on contracting your abs and using your back and your arms to move forward and backwards. Next, we have a shoulder touch combined with a kick back. So here we're really focusing on our shoulders, which we haven't targeted yet and then do a kickback to really target your glutes and hamstrings. And then obviously because we are in a plank position, we are using our abs. So again, do it to failure and then repeat for four sets. And then finally, we have a side plank with a knee touch. 
So here again, you go into a side plank position, so that really uses your back muscles, your abs, and you also contract your legs, so that really uses your quads as well. So then you proceed to sort of touch your elbow with your knees, which really activates your obliques, and that also makes sure to have a little bit of a hip abduction. And as usual, you just do it to failure, then you go to the other side, and then you repeat the set for four times. I really hope you like this workout. All the exercises are in the description down below with the reps, the set, and all the information that you need. As you have seen, this workout has covered absolutely every part of our body, from our abs, our arms, our legs, absolutely everything. So I really hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and you gave it a try. If you did, then please don't forget to let me know down in the comments below because I really look forward to hearing from you guys whether or not you like my workouts. And also, if you have any requests or types of workouts or muscles to be targeted then obviously I will be more than happy to do a video for it so yeah I really hope you liked this video if you did please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my little tiny channel and I really hope I will see you next time ciao